Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel today and we are going to be doing a brand new Sims 2 creating some video but also a speed build because I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you all the process of how I made my sim but also how I made the set for that lo-fi music video that I made a couple of days ago or by the time you're watching this video it's probably been a month. So anyway, if you didn't see that video I will link it down below along with that modern suburban family home that I made as well because on the exact same day I made that lo-fi music video was the same day I made that speed build in The Sims 2 and The Sim. And so if you want to see everything, I will link it down below because I had so much fun just spending the entire day that day recording anything Sims really that came to my mind and I made a lot of things and this is one of them. And personally, I want to show you more of behind the scenes of things that I make in The Sims 2, 3 or 4, whether it's like a, a music video or a machinima short film or whatever it might be. And personally, at the end of the day, these things take a very long time to make, but they're very fun to do when you kind of finish the entire product and people see it. Now, here's my thing. I'm a person who used to make a bunch of short films in The Sims 2 on my old YouTube channel when I was in high school. And since then, I've stopped since 2014 because I was too overwhelmed and I couldn't do it anymore. And I didn't really have the time to do it. So I stopped it and now I kind of want to bring it back again for this channel, Spring Sims, and show you all the creativity that I have when it comes to making sets, sims, backstories, and putting it all into one video and telling a story. And I have something up, something coming up very soon. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of this year to post on January 1st, 2022, the start of the new year. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But nevertheless, I personally think that making this like lo-fi music video in The Sims 2 for an hour and a half long in real time, by the way, I spent an hour and a half long in real time recording this Sim, Diane, typing on her computer in slow motion and finding all the music when it came to royalty free, but something that wasn't too crazy or too low or too obnoxious, but something that was very chill and relaxing was actually relatively easier than I thought it would be. And if you remember the Lo-Fi Girl from YouTube, there is this YouTube channel called The Lo-Fi Girl, and it's a 24 seven continuous stream where this animated cartoonish 2D character with a cat is, they're sitting in their bedroom or whatever it might be in their bed, in the kitchen, whatever it might be for 24 seven lo-fi music and it's so therapeutic so relaxing to listen to in the background and while i'm doing homework or reading a book or building in the sims or even cleaning or cooking food in my kitchen and personally it's kind of what got me inspired to kind of do that again in the sims 2 and if you don't know I added a lot of custom content in this build to make it happen just because there was a lot of things that I didn't have in The Sims 2 originally that I wanted to add in and kind of just kind of use my expertise of, you know, plants, custom content again, and building sets and telling a story through that set and seeing what I can do. And lo and behold, it was just, just I don't know, I, I, I just had so much fun making this. I've never had this much fun in a very long time in The Sims 2 making a set because usually what you all see are usually like my face on the video, in the video for who knows how long the video might be, but also making suburban houses all the time. And this is kind of like another side of me that you've never really seen before. And something in 2022 that I want to definitely accomplish is doing things that I am scared of doing that I did in my past that I didn't think were cool or something that I didn't think people would be interested in. And so I want to do things, do those things again and try them and experiment and experiment more on videos that necessarily may not be quote unquote popular or quote unquote, you know, trendy just because it, I, I want to have fun. Like there are games that I want to play on this channel that I typically only play on my Twitch channel. Like I want to play more Animal Crossing and I want to play more, you know, you know, Stardew Valley or whatever it might be. Something that's like relaxing. Like if you don't remember, I've been doing these like chill and build with me related videos in different video games. I did one in The Sims and I did one in the in Animal Crossing and I kind of want to do one in uh, Minecraft next or House Flipper because those games are kind of fun and I really adore them and I kind of have fun playing them on my own or on Twitch. And hopefully you all are very excited about that in the next 
upcoming year basically in like two weeks from now when you're watching this video i'm pretty sure because i've been planning out all my videos for the rest of the year that i want to upload and personally it's going really well i've been pre-recording a lot my voice is going great i mean i've been drinking a lot of water tea resting my voice not yelling as much which is kind of uh, great personally because yelling it's not in the cards for me. Yelling's just overrated. Who needs to yell when you can have your Sims yell into the void all the time? It's much easier. We play Sims, we live vicariously through our game, so might as well have our Sims do all the things that we shouldn't do IRL. Like, you know, push people into a piranha pool, or, you know, scream into the void, or stay up 24 hours in a day. Like, I mean, if you want to stay up 24 hours in a day, feel free. But if you don't want to, have your Sims do it and see what happens. Because personally, I think it's kind of fun that way. Because Sims are kind of wild and kind of um, unpredictable. You just don't know what you're going to get with them. You just hope for the best that, you know, they don't set fires 24-7, five times a day. But it happens and it's okay. Because you can start all over again like it, nothing ever happened. Anyway, <laughs> besides that, I think when I was making this build... I was having so much trouble of trying to figure out the lighting situation. Now, I added a bunch of stuff that I downloaded off of like my old websites that I had going on when I was way younger because I've been playing The Sims for 21 years, but I've been playing The Sims 2 since the very start. And I've always known about, you know, like custom content and I knew about it. I knew about it. I know where to get the good stuff. I know how to get the high quality stuff. I just know how to find everything. Basically, I have a lot of years of experience on the internet finding things it's what i do it's what i love to do and it's kind of therapeutic and kind of fun so when i was making this i was having a difficult time of figuring out the lighting situation not only did i have to figure out the lighting situation for the objects of where the neon lights were going to hit on certain points in the area but also where the lighting was going to hit on the sim. I didn't want the sim to be overexposed or too red or too green or too purple or too blue, but like a mixture between all of it. And the other obstacle that I kind of hit with this build was that when it came to deciding where I was going to put it, little did I know that I just forgot that I was going to make a set of that modern suburban home I built for the actual music video. And I realized that, you know what, I'm too far into the build. We're not even going to start all over. We're just going to continue on and do whatever. And so I basically had my Sim buy a business property in downtown, actually. Not downtown, like somewhere in, in their neighborhood, basically. I think it's Blue Water Village that came with open for business. I had them buy a property. And I literally had to build on that property with the money that we had. But also the obstacle is that when you buy a business in The Sims 2, you're stuck with having Sims coming to your lot periodically trying to get in and browse and buy things. And I just did not want that. So I basically kind of did the thing and trapped all of my Sims, like or basically the Sims that appeared, I trapped them in a box where they couldn't get in at all. So they kind of starved to death and died except Malcolm Landgrab, which is kind of confusing to me. Like, why did he live and the others didn't? So it was a little bit weird, but I'm like, okay, you do what you do, have fun, go about your day. And I think at this point in the video where I'm at right now, I think I remember that the outdoors was a little bit meh and I knew that the lighting on the outside would just have nothing in it. So I found some neon lights that I downloaded and added them in to give it a little bit of ambiance, a little bit more, you know, nice secluded city woodsy vibes. And so I added those neon signs, a green and blue one and a bunch of trees around it to give it woodsy. And in my mind, I was thinking of Twilight. My mind straight up went to Twilight. That's where it went. And I'm like, ooh, Forks, Washington, trees, lighting, bada bing, bada boom, there we go. And that's what I basically did. I, I had Forks, Washington in my mind. Twilight controls my life and it's sad, but it's true. What can you really do? Nothing much. But personally, at the end of the day, I think that this build was relatively fun to make. Again, if you want to see the lo-fi music video and the modern speed build that I did, I will link those both down below. But if you kind of want to download this set and the sim, I'm going to try and find a way where I can make those two things for download separately 
so you can have it for yourself in case you want to you know do whatever with it by all means go wild have fun but regardless i do hope you all really enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions on future videos you want me to do next year let me know in the comments below as always especially if you want me to do any more lo-fi music videos in the sims maybe the sims 3 next maybe the sims 4 you never really know who knows but regardless as always i hope you all enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next video bye